Hello, welcome to Geojit Spotlight. There are two important factors impacting stock market trends now. One, the better than expected performance of the US economy. Two, the sharply rising bond yields in the US. The first factor is positive. The second is negative for emerging markets. Let me explain. The US economy is resilient and growing strong despite the around 500 basis point hike in US interest rates. This is supporting global economic growth and global stock markets. Since growth is good and inflation is higher than the Fed's target, the market feels that uh, U.S. interest rates will continue to remain high for long. So, bond yields have shot up. The 10-year bond yield is at 4.34% and the 2-year bond yield is at 5%. Remember, these are risk-free returns. When the safest asset class in the world, the U.S. treasuries are yielding 5% return, Foreign portfolio investors will prefer that. They are likely to sell in India and move money to the U.S. bonds. This is happening now. This is a short-term trend. In the very short term, globally, market trends will be influenced by U.S. inflation and the American Central Bank Fed's response to that. Market participants will be keenly watching what the Fed Chief Jay Powell says in the Jackson Hole Symposium the coming Friday. Long-term investors in India need not bother about these short-term issues and the market volatility. They should focus on the India growth story. India's growth story is the best growth story among large economies in the world. Investors should invest in the India growth story. Present market valuations are high, but not excessive. There are pockets of markets which are fairly valued. India's large cap banks are now fairly valued. They are investable now. India's capex cycle has begun. So capital goods majors like Larsen and Tubro have great prospects. Pockets of mid and small caps are overpriced now. This is a risky segment. Investment in this segment may be done through mutual funds, ideally via SIPs, systematic investment plans.